All right, guys, welcome back to WDYD CSP. What do you do as a central sterile processor? All right, today we're starting our day off in decontamination. But before we start breaking those trays down and sorting those instruments and uh, rinsing and placing into our equipment, we have to make sure that our equipment is ready to go. So first off is our cart washer. Ensure that there is chemistry there. Okay, so chemicals should be checked to make sure that they're at the proper level and the correct chemicals in place. Next thing we want to check is our drain screens. All right, from shift to shift, that drain screen can get kind of nasty. All right, so in this model here, um, we open up our door until the door is fully open. Okay, in order to access that drain screen, we have to lift the bottom floor plates up. So we're gonna go ahead and op hold the open button down for a few seconds until the door starts to move. And when the door starts to move, we're gonna release the open button. The door will partially close and the stop pin on the opposite side that holds the floor grates down will retract, allowing us to pull the floor grates up, okay? So as you can see, our drain screens are pretty filthy. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pull this floor plate up and access our screens. And in order to do that, we have to remove two thumb screws. And we're going to go ahead and take this over to the sink and clean it out real good. All right, so our screens are nice and clean. I've configured them correctly. There's a certain overlap or configuration to your screens. And this varies from cart washer to cart washer. So pay attention to that. Okay, your thumb screws should not be placed over torqued on there. Remember, this thing heats up and cools down, so that expands the metal and can make it very difficult to take these off. You just want to tighten them enough so that those screens do not move. All right, we're going to drop our floor plate down, our floor down, and check our nozzles. Now, this cart washer has several nozzles that we have to check. You want to check to make sure that they're first unclogged and second that they're present. As you can see, I'm missing several nozzles out of this cart washer, which makes it ineffective and inefficient because it's diverting water away from the nozzles and spraying heavily in one section of it. So I'm going to go ahead and dig in my bag of goodies and go ahead and replace those. All right. We're going to close our door and then we have one more checkpoint on our cart washer and this is right here in the maintenance area. It is the filter. All right, so we're hit this green button and we're going to um, empty the filter out and we have to take this lock collar off. All right, so we take this little lock collar off here and then wiggle this little canister here and that'll pop the filter up. And as you can see, that filter is filthy. Hasn't been done for a while. So we're going to go ahead and clean that up. We're going to look in there and make sure there's nothing in there. And look at the difference. Big difference. Now you see that white uh, gasket right there? Important that that gasket is present. That's going to stop any leaks or any air to get into the system. So we're going to go ahead and line that up real good. And then put that filter right back in place. Okay, I had to take off my utility gloves here. And actually had to replace one of my gloves. Um, but we're going to go ahead and... Place that filter down. Make sure everything lines up really good. Okay, and this is a lot harder to do with one hand too, guys. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that that gasket's lined up and then that pin is lined up with that drain, with that hole. That's what tells you that that filter's in place or out of place. Okay, put the lock collar back on. Make sure everything is lined up perfectly. And again, when you tighten this, don't over tighten it because again, you don't want to have to struggle taking this thing off. So our cart washer checks are complete onto our washer disinfector chemistry. All right, we're going to make sure that we have some chemicals in there and that they're at good levels. So this one's pretty good. One's getting a little low, but that'll be like halfway through the shift and we'll take care of that later on. But there's plenty to start off. We're going to check our US 1000s. That's our large ultrasonics. And that has plenty of chemistry. There's two of them I have to check. We have three irrigating sonics. So we're going to go ahead and check the chemistry on that. And those look pretty good. 
Now it's time to check the drain screens of our washer disinfectors. We have four of them. So we have to check all four of these guys. Okay, we're gonna open the door. And first things first, we wanna check those spray arms. Do they spin freely in there? And this one's nice. The one in the top is gonna to spin freely as well because we're gonna make sure that there's no clogs in any of those uh, spray arms because if they're clogged up again, that's gonna be ineffective cleaning. They come off really easy with that thumb screw, um, but we're gonna go ahead and they checked out good, but we're gonna check these screens. There's a large screen and then there's a small pump drain screen there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull them out and both of those are looking pretty dirty. So we're gonna take those to the sink, clean them out very well, okay? And then put them right back in place. So we put the pump drain screen on and then we'll the washer disinfector basket screen back in place. So there's the basket. There is a cover that goes on top of that. Line up the thread screws and then put the thumb screws on there again lightly tighten them do not over tighten them because as it heats up and cools down the metal expands and makes it very difficult to take these screws off you shouldn't have to struggle to take these screws off to change and clean your filters all right and we have four washer disinfectors so i have to do this four times guys all right, you should be doing it four times with all in your facility or however many washers you have. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door and then on to the ultrasonics. All right, door is closing. Let's head over to our ultrasonic and we're gonna check the drain filters, the drain screens on that. In order to access that, this is the inner wave. Um, you're just gonna pull up on both handles and that'll release the, the basket um, from the lock position and you have to use two hands to do this check the inside of your uh, Tank make sure that there's no damages and then pull that screen uh, Filter out to make sure that one the gasket is intact and not damaged and Of course that there's no debris. So we're gonna go ahead and clean this off really good moisten up that gasket and then drop it right back in place so we're gonna go ahead and push that down and make sure it's flush with the bottom of the tank and then reinsert the basket, okay? Make sure that the gaskets on the um, basket inserts are intact and not damaged. When you push your basket down, make sure it locks in place. Okay, now this is very um, similar to our other ultrasonic, which is also an irrigating sonic. Okay, and we're going to do the same exact procedure. So this is the Steel Co. US 300s. Um, we're going to pull the basket out. Uh, we're going to inspect the inside of the tank for any damages. And then pull that drain filter out of there. A little bit of debris. We're going to go ahead and clean that off and drop that right back in. Alright, so after cleaning, we drop our filter back in. And we're gonna go ahead and check the overhead spray heads, spray arms. So this has two little spray arms. Make sure that they're free spinning and that they're not clogged. They easily come off with a thumb screw. You can take them off, rinse them, and put them right back in place. And then drop that basket right back in and make sure it locks in place. All right, guys, so we've checked all of our equipment and decontamination. Don't forget to check the detergent at your sinks as well. And we're ready to decontaminate. All right, guys, until next time, peace.